yesterday uh, afternoon when I was throwing away things in my office in preparation for August 1, I was getting the, my Leandro file organized for the future. And I ran across a 2005 public school forum study group publication about responding to the Leandro ruling. And one part of it seems to resonate with half the population involved in this case. The other half closes its eyes to it. And the elements of what they said was a comprehensive plan, uh, I'm just going to read a small portion of it. One says high quality teachers, so that was in existence back then, still in existence today. And the bottom of page, whatever it is, it's so fancy it's hard to see the page numbers, 12. It says the North Carolina Constitution as interpreted by Leandro guarantees to each and every child the right to an equal opportunity to obtain a sound basic education, requires that each child be afforded the opportunity to attend a public school which has the following educational resources at a minimum. First, that every classroom be staffed with a competent, certified, well-trained teacher who is teaching the standard course of study by implementing effective educational methods that provide differentiated, individualized instruction, assessment, and remediation to the students in that classroom. The second factor, lending urgency to the drive to guarantee high-quality teachers in every classroom, comes from the federal government's No Child Left Behind legislation. That legislation requires all classrooms be staffed by highly qualified teachers as defined by the states. Local schools not meeting this federal <coughs> mandate could suffer economic consequences in the future. The last factor is not legalistic, rather it is the moral dimension. A growing body of research finds that the single best predictor of student success or failure is found in the capability of the teachers students will encounter over time. Students exposed to high quality teachers will excel at high levels, regardless of parental income levels or other factor, factors frequently cited as reasons for failure. Conversely, students exposed to mediocre or poor teachers, and we know where they are, can be educationally scarred for life. It is not an exaggeration to say that in 2005, the students who need the state's very best teachers are least likely to have them a finding that did not go unnoticed by the Leandro decision. What then is the answer to this problem? The risk of overemphasizing the importance of having a comprehensive and constitutionally compliant plan and sticking with it, it may be no more complicated than that. And here we are 10 years later on the same subject. It's not more complicated than that. If you have the principal, you have the teacher, and you have the resources they need in each classroom, you are constitutionally compliant, and children will learn. And, and don't try to tell me during this hearing that this is, this is the case in North Carolina, because it's not. You, as I said earlier, this dog won't hunt if you take that position. So you may call your first witness. <laughs> 